means we have to find the resultant phase derivation expression for what resultant phase but we have to use these two equation equation number one and equation number two in this particular equation one and two what i am going to do here i am not going to add square and add okay to find out r we square and add the term but to find out the resultant phase we are going to divide one by two means two divided by one so what is the second equation ka left hand side who will tell me what is the left hand side of the second equation r sin phi what is the left hand side of the first equation r cos phi equals to what is the right hand side of the equation number 2 a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 the whole divided by what is the right hand side of the equation 1 a1 cos phi 1 a2 cos phi 2 so here we observe that rr get cancel what is sin upon cos kartik what is sin upon cos sin theta upon cos theta tan tan theta okay to so tan phi so sin upon cos is tan phi so what will the final answer a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 into sin phi 2 divided by A one into cos phi one plus A two into cos phi two. We are finding what we are finding what resultant phase that is what phi. So I need phi. So I have to make phi alone. Phi ko akila banana hai. So tan will go there. Tan will go there and become what? Tan inverse. So what will be the final answer? Tan inverse of A one sine phi one plus A two. Sin phi two upon a one cos phi one a two into cos phi two. This is what final answer of resultant phase. Hope so. You understood this particular simple derivation. Say yes or no.